OMG BBG! Welcome back to another BBG unboxing. Today we have the Burst Ultimate VS set with the last Spriggan of the series. Can you believe it? This is it, guys. No! That's the last Spriggan we're ever gonna get. And they gave us some pretty crap parts. <laughs> Don't say that. Uh, maybe it's not as bad as I think, right? We did a BBG Talks on this release a while back and we were a little bit disappointed with the parts that we were given in here, but we won't know until we unbox it, so of course we'll get to it shortly here. There are some pretty special parts though, like the VS gear that you get from this. Word, you can finally complete your Divine Belial, and it's gonna give you that ultimate gear now. So yeah, you know what? There are a few perks to buying this VS set. Um, of course, you get another Ultimate Valkyrie too, right? So this recolor looks really good. It's been like seven years or more now since Beyblade Burst has started. We've come a very long way in terms of like the base that we've gotten. I would say even like our channel has grown so much, our community with you guys. It's been a long and amazing ride. So hopefully this Spriggan and this Valkyrie will do it justice. So before we take a look at the back of the box, let's take a look around the sides and the top here. It actually shows references to the previous generations of Spriggan here. So it's even labeled and everything. So for example, um, the centerpiece of the DB core is referenced to Storm Spriggan, I think it was. This really is the last Spriggan. They did this with Ultimate Valkyrie, throwing in all these references to previous generations. It's kind of cool. You see references to previous bays on both sides of the bay, and whether you're in right spin or left spin, so that's cool. Now we're going to take a look at the back of the box here to go over the parts that we receive in this set. So we have our Burst Spriggan. Now, of course, we get a Spriggan DB core. This is like Spriggan 2 is what they're calling it because, of course, we have a Spriggan chip from the previous Astro Spriggan. Next part we have is the Burst Blade, which is crazy. I mean, the word Burst in general just being like the name of a part is awesome because obviously Burst Ultimate, right? Burst Spriggan Ultimate Valkyrie, right? We get an 8 armor, which is brand new, so that's pretty sweet. It has a graphic here, of course, right, of the two sides that you can switch between. Dual spin. Awesome. We have the spread dash disc. This is probably like one of the most, you know, disappointing parts. Um, but actually the worst one is hands down the driver, in my opinion, fusion dash. So I don't know, the last friggin' getting a fusion dash? I don't know, man, I'm not really feeling that. For Ultimate Valkyrie, this is all the same stuff you guys have seen from the previous one, so not much to say there, right? It's the same layer, but then we get wing dash and we get a cell dash. Once again, tribute to the original Valkyrie. Last but not least, we get the VS gear up here. So that is for your Divine Belial, and that will create the ultimate gear when you combine it with all of the previous gears you've gone from Achilles, Dragon, and you know, the bros. Pretty sweet set overall. So before we unbox it, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications so you don't miss the next video. You can find us on Instagram at Gate Dosage and on TikTok at Beyblade Geeks Official. Now, if you want to get your own Burst Ultimate VS set, and celebrate Beyblade Burst with the last Spriggan and the last Valkyrie, then check out our friends over at Zen Market. Zen Market is a proxy shipping service that will get you Japanese goods straight from Japan. They only attach a small 300 yen fee for every item that you purchase. Zen Market has a ton of selection because they use a bunch of different marketplaces. You're basically searching on a bunch of different databases like Amazon Japan, Yahoo Auctions, Rakuten. So if you can't find it on one marketplace, you'll definitely be able to find it on the other ones. The newest addition to Zen Market's marketplace is Rakuma. Consider Rakuma as an online flea market or a second-hand market. Rakuma can be a cheaper alternative, and you might be able to find some rare bays that aren't readily available anymore. We have our own showcase page on Zen Market with a bunch of our bay recommendations, so go ahead and check it out. If you sign up with our link, you'll get 300 yen for free, so that's going to help you cover that service fee for that first bay that you're looking for. Zen Market is updating their inventory every single month when a brand new bay drops, so they always have the latest goods. Go check them out if you want your own Takeratomi base. Alright, let's unbox this. Yes, gear. There you go, all the parts out. We'll of course go into detail in just a moment. Everything is looking pretty slick. We get quite a few stickers as well. These look really nice. Tons to put on. And this is something that I'm sure a lot of you have been seeing uh, from other Baytubers and whatnot and discussions online. This is an announcement that's coming up 
that we'll talk about hopefully the newest generation of Beyblade, the fourth Sega. Say what? Or it might be more burst stuff, who knows. Uh, as of right now, we can only speculate. But it's 3, 2, 1, go shoot, meaning March 21st. So put that in your calendars. We are obviously going to be super hyped up and talking about this even more like as you know we get closer to the date. Uh, we'll probably even do a BPG Talks about this, so stay tuned. Stickers are on, here are all the parts for our Burst Spriggan and Ultimate Valkyrie. So let's quickly run through everything here. Starting with the Spriggan 2 DB core, it's looking sexy. There's only one sticker on it, but I love the design on this one. Looks really good in my opinion. It's the so cool to see the S in the center of the DB core. Yeah, that pays tribute to the Storm Spriggan, so it looks good. Let's talk about the burst blade. This is the most important part here. So once again, Spriggan has a dual spin ability. When you flip it over, then you get a different rotation, right? So the black side that you see here with the metal, that is your left spin side. You also have the white parts on the either side there. That's rubber. So that helps with some absorption. Yup, and the metal bits over here looks just like the ones that was on Astral Spriggan. But the black blades there reminds me of that Legend Spriggan, right? Throwback. Now flipping over to the right spin side, this one reminds me of Spriggan Requiem, obviously. There we go, a lot more gold, you got more white that's apparent, right? So yeah, like Steven was saying, the white is rubber. But yeah, the blades, it's so chunky. That's what I've noticed too. Like all of these main blades here, they're very, very thick. They don't stick out a ton, but they're bulky. And then in this right spinning mode, the white rubber pieces are actually more exposed compared to your left spin mode. So you're gonna hit pretty hard. I can see that the white rubber will probably stain a little bit when it makes contact with other Beyblades. Just kind of how like Spriggan Requiem, it gets a little bit discolored as you use it more and more. But overall though, the shape of this blade looks really cool. We'll have to test it in an actual battle to see which side we like more. The next new part is this 8 armor. So this one's also looking very bulky as well. It does also have references to older generations of Spriggan according to Takara Tomi. Very subtle, but yeah, like the two blades on the side right there. It's supposed to be like an axe. This one looks pretty good overall. I wanna weigh it and then see if this one weighs more than some of the other ones that we have. Overall symmetrical design, so pretty good for a balanced stamina, defense type, and everything like that. Now onto the controversial bits. So we have spread dash. Oh my goodness. So very round overall, right? It really is just like an enlarged, bigger, bulkier version of that original spread disc. You got S written all over the place. Yep, just like the original there, right? I want to know if this weighs just as much as like over disc or illegal disc, right? We've been getting a lot of round designs lately. Here's a side by side with the original spread disc. Look at the size difference, guys. 2015 versus 2022. I was hating on this on the BBG talks because I didn't really like this disc to begin with back in the day, but who knows? Maybe this thing's gonna be crazy. It's growing on me. Now, the part that's probably never gonna grow on me is this Fusion Dash. So this driver here obviously is just an upgraded version, stronger spring lock. Yeah, it has like this little dot in the middle of the platform and then it's flat throughout the rest. So sometimes if you launch it super flat, you can get it upright and it'll be very, very chill. It'll hang out in the center of the stadium. And as soon as it's knocked off balance, you'll ride on the flatter portion and it'll actually have some movement. But this is nowhere near as fun as that Quattro driver or Quattro dash. But that's the thing though, it's actually cool that um, there's a reason to get older Spriggans. Zest Achilles really did take everything from Spriggan, didn't it? Now moving on to Ultimate Valkyrie. So for the lair, it's pretty much the exact same design, right? Like everything that has changed is purely cosmetics. So you get some different stickers on the DB core. When it comes to the blade itself, there is some different colored paint. You may notice there's a little bit less clear. There's some silver paint, a little bit more gold. I even noticed that the rubber, it looks like a little deeper red. Yo, for sure it does. Yeah, it's a little bit darker there. I think it looks better than the Ultimate Valkyrie that we got about a year ago in Beyblade Burst DB. Agreed. Let us know which version you guys like more. Let's talk about the disc. This is Wing Dash. So just like Spriggan, this is an upgraded version of the original Wing Disc from Valkyrie Wing Accel. It still has the four blades. Once again, it's just enlarged, really. It does retain the four cutouts that the original wing disc had. Definitely not the most aggressive disc that we've seen for an attack type, but hopefully this is a very aerodynamic disc. 
all of the cutouts make you believe that this is designed for like airflow and everything like that. So can't wait to weigh it and test it. Now the last part here for Valkyrie is a cell dash. Not as disappointing as Fusion Dash, but still kind of sad about it because it is very old. So upgraded version of the original Acel driver, tighter spring lock. This is going to be nothing like that variable dash driver that you got with the original Ultimate Valkyrie. This will be nowhere near as fast, but a lot more controllable. Let's put together Valkyrie first. Ooh, that is tight. Holy, that's unburstable, saying that right now. All right, and then for Spriggan, I guess we'll put into, what is it at right now? I think it's on right spin, so we'll go this way then. Spread dash. Wow, it's just really flush. Oh, pretty tight here too. Not bad. Not as tight as our Valkyrie, but still pretty tight. So that's it. We have Burst Spriggan and Ultimate Valkyrie. Burst Ultimate. Looks pretty sick. Now when you put the base side by side, you can see the reference to when Beyblade Burst first started. Many of you have already seen it, but there is 2015 written here somewhere. So right there, you see this little black S? That's actually a two. So this is your two. Apparently this little diamond symbol right here, like the gold diamond, with the black, that's supposed to be a zero. You have this red one and you have this red five, right going down Valkyrie's face there. So that is 2015 in reference to the first year Burst was released. The details that Takara to Tomi put into the bay designs, wow. Sometimes I wonder if they just made that up. Like, did they put that in on purpose or were they like, huh, what's another gimmick that we can make out of this? Like, oh my God, I see a 2015, <laughs> but I don't know. Either way, super cool. Of course, we have to give you a look of the other side, the left spinning side. So we're gonna change all of that with our new tool here as well. So remember, use your tool and just twist and lock it in there you go left spin we're going to rotate over to the black side armor back in lock that up now what do we think about left spin mode not bad right looks very much like legend surprising for some reason to me word i think it's the two black blades that's doing it exactly like it is reference to that, right? It also does remind me of the black side of World Spriggan too. So yeah. It's just everything. Overall, just pretty nice. Look how small it is at the bottom though. <laughs> that driver is way too tiny for that disc. Yeah, everything beefed up except for the legs. The yeah. Skipped leg days. It's legit skipped leg day. Chicken legs, chicken boy. Same legs as 2015. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, now let's look at the VS gear. We did not forget. So for the ones that don't know, this VS gear honestly just looks like a disc in frame, which is crazy. Legit. The red plastic bit is free spinning. Um, the shape of the metal piece looks like a Beyblade. It's like the silhouette of a Beyblade. So yeah. it's awesome. The free spin is also kind of tight. It's not that smooth. Yeah, it's not very smooth. So I feel like sometimes that actually might make it worse. But take your adventure driver and put it into the grooves, twist it to lock it in. And now you have yourself an ultimate gear, Divine Belial. Look at that. H gear, we got A gear, D gear, and now VS gear. It's the BU version of Perfect Gear, yay. Yeah. Now we have uh, Ultimate Gear and Perfect Gear, so which one's better? So let's weigh first Spriggan. 74.98 grams. Over 70, pretty good. Now the new Ultimate Valkyrie combo. 70.41 Oh, so quite a bit less. What about the old Ultimate Valkyrie? 69.02. Oh, it's a weight upgrade. Say word. So, <laughs> it's probably because we've worn down our, uh, our driver. driver. Okay, wing dash. 32.01 grams. 32, okay. What about spread dash? 32.14 grams. Also 32. Here you go, guys. This is the old one. Old spread, 20.85 grams. <laughs> so big difference there so it really is a lot bigger and a lot heavier than the old ones so I was mentioning earlier I wanted to know whether or not it's heavier than over we'll find out over is 33.31 grams so both of these brand new discs do weigh a little bit less than over not a ton less though which is not too bad all right and just so we know 
how much does this brand new VS gear weigh? VS gear weighs 7.46 grams. 7.4? This is old V gear. V gear, 5.45 grams. Yo, there we go. Test spin time. First friggin'. Three to one. Go. Oh, shit. Moving a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. Moving more than I remember the original one to move. Yo, it looks so cool. Uh, it's like clear in the middle, red on the outside. Well, Spriggan always looks sick, man. Love Spriggan. All right, so that is that. Oh, yo, that actually kind of hurt. Doing some damage to your hands. Yeah. All right, so Ultimate Valkyrie, three, two, one, go. Oh, shit. A cell driver. I was expecting it to like come out of the stadium. It's not that Ultimate Valkyrie. <laughs> yeah, it's a different <laughs> combo. All right, so there you go. A cell dash. You can see it's decently fast. It's got a decent amount of stamina as well. Not super quick. We are going to battle both of these bays in a dedicated battle video, so stay tuned for that. That is it for the unboxing on the Burst Ultimate VS set, where you get the last Spriggan and another version of Ultimate Valkyrie. So the final verdict, we have to let you know, should you buy it, consider it, or avoid it? This one here is a must buy, even if you don't like the combos on here, because I personally don't like them that much, but I would buy it anyways, because this pays tribute to the very beginning of Beyblade Burst. And if you're a Beyblade lover, you have to get this, okay? There's so much references to all the other Spriggans too. That's right. Every generation of Spriggan that has come before this one has some sort of design influence on this. So yeah, get this one, just customize it a little bit, give it that Quattro Dash, it'll be super fun to use. And yeah, it's nice to see that upgraded version of Wing and a Cell on there. But that is it guys. Let us know what you think of these two bays down in the comment section below. Are you going to buy it? You probably should. All right. Like the video, subscribe, and as always, Geeks, geeks out. out.